I didn't have any, I didn't have any fucking friends. I sat alone in my room and listened to Who Records. My favorite Who record was Live at Leeds. The beauty about this record is recorded live, just off the fucking live thing. And you can take the balance on my Radio Shack stereo and move it to the left or right, I don't really remember. Anyway, the left or the right, and you just hear the fucking bass. Which at the time sounded like the guitar. You never really knew, but after a while I figured it out. It was, it was the bass. So I just sat down, it took me a while, but I figured out everything. I'm not a fucking guitarist that wanted to be in the band, so he, you know, he started fucking playing bass. You know, I'm a fucking bass player, that's all I've ever wanted to fucking do. <laughs> After Operation Ivy broke up, they formed two new bands, Downfall and Generator. They also formed Dance Hall Crashes. Whoa! I'm going down. But they left the band shortly. While Armstrong was in the Salvation Army program getting sober, Freeman played with the political punk band MDC for about a year experiencing his first European tour. So Operation Ivy's done. Um, you know, MDC was always playing Gilman, always around. I, you know, ended up playing bass on a European tour and the US tour, but so much crazy shit happened. Like the first show we played in commerce, like the cops came and he's like, "There, fuck you, cops, dead pigs, fuck you, pigs." Oh, like, yeah. And it was crazy. And like, and then just you know, touring around. Um, uh, Tim came on the first tour as a, as a roadie, so I had a friend there, that was pretty awesome. That but is good. But on the Europe Please. tour, we went out there, and we're playing all these punk rock squats, and, you know, it was just, it was just crazy, and I always had to, like, I always got stuck with, like, the bullshit, because I was the youngest, I mean, I was 23, 24 at the time, and these guys were always a little older, so, like... <laughs> Playing bass in Rancid was what thrust him into the punk scene. But he also unleashed raw, raspy vocals with a distinctive edge. All right, we're going to turn the microphone over to Mr. Matt Freeman for this next one. Oh, my God. 